26 pound 95. What's Jake Paul versus? See, this is the problem. This is the problem right here. You got Usyk versus Joshua too. The most meaningful fight in the heavyweight division. Baddest man on the planet. Tyson Fury retired. You got Usyk versus Joshua too. You got a war hero. 26.95. And you got Jake Paul. I see, Rockman, I love you like a play cousin because I love your father. But still, you ain't a pay-per-view fighter either. Love you, brother. But you know you ain't a pay-per-view fighter. Jake Paul versus I see, Rockman for $60, $70? And you got, oh, the, see? The fight game is, is on his head. Something's horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Hit the Tyson bell. Horrible. All the black two sugars. Horribly wrong. Showtime US. Pay-per-view pay price for Jake Paul versus Haseem Rahman is $59.99. That's $70. Because they're going to they gonna up it for HD. Right? And then taxes. It ain't about the price they set. It's about how much money leaves your bank account, player. That's why I love finance over uh, accounting. Finance is about what you got. Cash in, cash out. $59.99, you can call it all you want. I paid how much money I lost. I ain't pay $59.99. I pay $70. That's how they get you. But $26.95? $35 for Usyk versus Anthony Joshua. And we got to pay $70 for Jake Paul versus Rockman. Fire stick for $200. <laughs> See, that's why y'all stealing shit. Because we don't, we can't tell the difference anymore. If you pay $70 for Jake Paul. See, not all of us are paid. Let's not lie. Let's keep it real, okay? You guys finance me, so y'all make sure that I'm doing good. I keep my hair, you know, I'm 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 doing good. And I, I thank you guys, people like Jay Brown, people like Jay Body, people like James West, you guys, man, Sully, all you guys, all right, all of you, all of you, Traverse, all of you. Um, y'all make sure I'm doing good, but not everybody got money, bro, bro. Not everybody got money. You pay seventy dollars. For Jake Paul versus Hasim Rahman, you may not have that in the budget for Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford, so you end up stealing that shit. And that's the black two sugars. See? That's the black two sugars. Not everybody got it in the budget. For real, for real. I remember. I remember. I remember buying a fight and knowing my cable about to get cut off, player. I bought the fight. I'm praying that they let me buy the fight. Oh, I, it, the cable about to get be cut off for three months. See, because I didn't have the money to get the cable back on. If you don't get it put, you if you don't get the cable right back on, they got to reinstall the shit. So you got to pay an installation fee. I remember risking my cable, my TV for my family for the rest for the next two months just to see Floyd Mayweather versus Ab Judah. I remember that. Times be hard, one hundred percent. Twitter finger. Tyson Fury has revealed that an exhibition fight with Thor is in talks for November at a stadium in London. It'd be great to get in there in front of 70,000 fans. See, 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 you see what's going on? Okay, let me tell you where we are right now. Media is lying about boxing. I'm sorry, I'm on my soapbox today. Media is lying about boxing, real boxing. Jake Paul versus Asim Rahman is worth more than Oleksandr Usyk versus Anthony Joshua. And you got the lineal heavyweight champion not looking to see who wins between Anthony Joshua and Usyk. Rather, say that he's retired when he's one foot in, one foot out, and fight a bodybuilder. That's where we are. That's where we are. Manny Pacquiao is about to fight a fake-ass Bruce Lee. 
Floyd Mayweather says that he has two more, three more exhibitions this year. And we don't know when Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford is. We don't think Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis is going to happen. 